Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.net. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to host your own videos on your WordPress blog. Now, for this, you would need access to your site via FTP. I have four video samples that I'm going to use inside of the uh, video folder. Now, using this method, you can upload any size videos. So, this is the folder containing my four samples and I'm using FileZilla as my FTP client. Before hosting your own videos, I recommend you to get informed. Now, go ahead and run uh, your FTP client. Here you would need the host name, username, password and port number which is given to you by your hosting company. Since I have previously accessed my website, is recorded under the Quick Connect. Now, in this case, I will need to drag that folder into the root directory of my website which is this one here it might be different depending which host hosting company you're using so right now the uh, folder is in my root it's gonna take a little while to upload once it finishes uploading locate the folder right click and then file permissions and here under numeric value change it to 777 or 666 whichever works for you now check mark recurs into subdirectories and click on OK perfect again directory listing successful great now close FileZilla and go to the back end of your site. Now I will be putting a video on this article here hosted by myself without using a third party company like YouTube or Vimeo. Now on the back end go to plugin, add new and look for add from server plugin. Search this one here, add from server, install now, OK, perfect. Activate plugin. Good. Now look for JW Player for Flash and HTML5. Go ahead and search for the plugin. Here it is. Install now, OK. Activate plugin. Perfect. Now go to media and here select add from server. Now it's already the folder is already pre selected, but just in case I want to make sure, go to WordPress root, select the videos folder that we just uploaded and now select all the folders within the video you can select whether you, you want to keep the current time or the file time I'll select current time here and then import to add those uh, videos to my media library as you can see here so now I can go to post this one here I'm using this one as an example add media and select from the videos I just uploaded insert into post here it is update and now I have I am hosting my own videos without using a third party company thank you for watching this video my name is Miguel if you have any questions feel free to post them in the comment section below. Thank you.